Welcome again to my studio. It's so good of you to come by. And today I'm going to talk about irises, which are really butterfly flowers. And this month in all the classes I taught painting the iris. I'd like you to see this painting because it was done with a master brush. You can see just how very large this is. And I really suggest for people who are just starting out in brush painting that you not attempt this brush because it holds so much moisture, it's really hard to control. And moisture control is one of the main things that we have to learn in brush painting. So you can see that this is just one stroke right here with this brush. And then here's a stroke and one more. And this is just one wipe of the brush. So after you've worked for a while with your regular brushes, then you can go to this and do something like this. And here we have something with a little bit more uh, westernized look to it, but it's still the Chinese brush painting technique. And so that's a garden of irises. So as I was saying this month, I taught painting the iris, and these are some of my demonstration paintings which have not been mounted yet. And later on, I'll do a demonstration of how to mount your paintings. And I thought it would be such a good idea for people to do, say, two paintings where they would continue the thought of the iris in the second painting. And so we had some experiments with that. And so these are some of my paintings. And you can see that if they were framed, you had the continuation in the next painting. So now on to actually painting the iris. And those of you that have my book, The Chi of the Brush, will see that inside we have a whole chapter on the bearded iris. And I call it Beautiful Butterflies. And that's exactly what they are. And so there's step by step on how to paint the iris. And then here's some examples of how to do the bud and the leaves. And now to begin. And I'm going to put my glasses on. If you wear glasses, put them on because that always helps a lot. And you're going to use your large orchid brush, large orchid bamboo brush. And so you can see that there's a big leap from using this brush to the other brush that's made out of sheep hair. And, um, so it takes just a little bit to get to that brush. So I'm going to start out, and we'll do purple iris today. And it's always good to have a piece of paper handy that you can test what's on your brush. And I'm just going to tip to neutral tint, which is a gray that has a lot of purple in it. And remember to use your towel. I use beaver towels. And just rapid strokes, almost the whole flower is done in the same stroke, which is tip of the brush and then just press down. Just tip of the brush and press down. And then you'll notice you run out of moisture, so you're just going to grab some more and just keep it going. And sometimes we like to get that flying white. Okay, so that is the main lip of the iris. And then we're going to come in and do some side petals, just very rapidly, just tip of the brush and press down, tip of the brush and press down. And then do, and this is a petal that's turning sideways. So we don't really see the full petal as we do here. And then for the other side of this petal, just a little pressure on the tip of the brush and dance it around, just a little pressure like so. And then finally we have the top of the iris and this can actually be painted in a different color or you can use the same colorations. Tip of the brush tip and just press down like so. And you want to get that flying white in there. That adds a lot of excitement. Tip and press down like so. Okay, now we're going to go to a smaller brush and this is a fine detail brush. And we're just going to add a little bit of yellow here and there. And that's for all the bees and the butterflies to go to to pick up the delicious pollen that's in the iris. And then now we're going to start doing some detail work. 
And actually, what we've done here is created our basic form, but we're going to pull it together very rapidly using a fine detail brush and some rapid strokes. If you didn't quite like the shape you created, you can always come back and reinforce it and almost recreate the shape. And so in the center, we're just going to add a few dark strokes, painting as rapidly as we can, because remember, this is an impression of an iris. And actually, the German scholars of the literati, going back hundreds of years in China, were really the first impressionists, and uh, then they were really the first abstract expressionists, because they were all about feeling. And they were not necessarily about doing something that's botanically correct, but they wanted to express the spirit. And so they wanted their brushes to just dance along, and that's what we aim to do. So very quickly, you can see, and if you go outside of the form that you've created, it gives even more excitement to your painting. Just a few strokes in here, and we've just about got it. Okay, and now, just a few strokes to get a stem and maybe a leaf or two. And I think we're going to have ourselves an iris. Just pressure and pull down. And then like so. And you can even have a bud attempting to come out somewhere, maybe here. Just tip with the brush, tip, and press down. And then you can encase it. A little sheathy thing going on, like so. And then you want to have a leaf, maybe start it out here. No pressure, press. No pressure, press and release, like so. If you want to have something coming out here, So, and then just a few final details to bring it all together. Remember that on the iris, you can have more than one flower coming out of a single stem on the bearded iris. So, okay. And there we have it. Okay, our beautiful butterfly. <laughs>